Hey Peter, I want to show you a couple things um, on how we design our abutments over here. Uh, also, we made a mistake and said uh, custom abutment, uh, in fact, is supposed to be screw retained and that's our fault. But I just want to show you a couple of the uh, ways that we design the abutments. Um, so I'll show you right now. So what I want to say. <coughs> um, first thing, we put our margin on these cuts on these screw retains. We set it at zero. Oh, first we need to change this over to a screw retain case. And we'll change this. And whenever you do that, you always got to change back to the above and bottom. Let's just make sure that this is the same one. All right, perfect. Uh, do the button bottom. Reset. Uh, one thing I did notice, um, all these green dots. We don't we don't use that many. We use far less, and I'll I'll show you kind of reason why. Um, the more you create, the more space you have for creating a food trap which will end up um, making the implant fail. So I really, really probably only use about six of the dots. Sometimes a little bit more, but not too many times. Um, and when I'm designing, I'm looking at your margin you could say, of the crown. Um, just get this kind of close, like this, and then we'll go ahead and change everything. Okay. Very good. Uh, advanced, change this profile height to zero. Screw retain. It's all going to be one piece, so we don't want that big old um, margin there. Uh, that's the other thing. Let's make this as uh, convex as possible. Let's pull up this gingiva. Um, Doctors will mess with some tissue so we can make this ideal. So after all these years of going to this guy, I might have him semi interested in coming and checking us out. Yep. He wants to right. he uses Sunny and Micro. And then maybe uh, young Kim that's next door to him. Young Kim came from he was a big wig in my group too. But he's right next door to Sanchez's office. It's called this thing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But the most important thing when designing these is to make sure there's not some big concavity like right here. When the mar you don't have to keep the margin up here at tissue level so that it um has this like look to it. All this right here if you don't fill this in it's all a huge food trap it's gonna get stuck in here they can't get in there and clean that area so we want to drop this down here like this and if you go down below the tissue like that like this this is fine they're gonna be able to move the tissue they'll cut the tissue away to to make sure that the crown will seat down properly um, so this is kind of what I'm looking for right here it's nice concave uh, emergence profile and it's really important to put that height set at zero um, this is just gonna get trimmed away and finished down and it's all one piece so we don't really have to worry about a margin shipping or anything like that okay uh, next the um, where are we at now? Uh, the crown. Um, I do like the design of the crown. It looks nice. 
Um, I'm not sure how far you're taking it out of occlusion. I just want to check that. Design. But I'll show you how I do my do how we do the occlusion here. Oh, I think this is from the wax up. We'll just have to finish that down after we mill it out. Not a big deal. Alright. Um, the contact. Contact is also pretty crucial on these screw retains. <laughs> how we do the contacts here as well using the cut tool very important on screw retain because there's only one insertion direction that the crowns can go in um, so first thing when doing occlusion I just cut to create wear facets on the static I'll kind of smooth anything up that I need to anything going up over the last part of the margin that will be this another food trap area. Okay, after I do static occlusion, I'll do 0.25, um, oh, that's right, it's a wax up so I can't do it. Uh, I'll just cut it at 0.2. Or, you can come over here, do a spacing, 2, and um, adjust this way. Um, if you can, leave it more of a tripod. zero I exclude selected parts because otherwise it's going to cut all this down here and you're just going to get left have trying to smooth that over again it's a waste of time go ahead and cut there um, use the disc this needs to be lined it's always automatically lined up the same way as the screw hole okay come over here and we'll uh, cut this I'm looking for, I want to cut anything that shows up underneath here, underneath the contact area, because they're going to have to take that away um, after it gets milled out, because otherwise the crown won't see. So we'll cut that, um, and then we'll come over here and we'll smooth up these little um, bowed areas right here. It's going to be more of a End point, morning. End point the, contact. Uh, Venture? Uh, Todd has it. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's it. Go ahead next and we'll uh, put that screw hole in it. And we'll move on to the next one. <laughs>